What's going on? Back plugged in again with your boy the profit. And so today, shout out to the homie Gino, first of all, for letting me showcase these characters on his account. Um, we're gonna be looking at the new uh, Lieutenant Rukia Kuchki, um, the tech hollow killer, the one that just came out for the mid month banner. Um, gonna go ahead and begin into it. Three separate builds. Uh, we don't have any link slides today, uh, but we do have her two of five right now. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and smack that bell notification. We about to get it popping. I hope you guys do the content. Let's get it lit. Drop my shit. Shout out to mama, she raised me up single with me and my siblings, the greatest of trios. I do not pop pills, but if I could choose, I would be in the matrix and shade out the Neo. That, that, that was abrupt. If you feel what I said with the record, let's box it out, then we can check it. Cause I sent your Gmail, aimed and dollop. Ayy, yo, L, cause you got a message. Wait, can we take a quick break? Okay, and come back, cause I still got a flexi. I'm humble and still got a show. I ain't pressed. I don't talk to these hoes, so I send them a text. Back plugged in again. All right, you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, start off first of all by um, putting her focus and her SP slots on her since she is two of five. Um, those two being the, you know, the best things that you could put on them uh, for SP damage. Um, if you get a character three or five, I will go attack. But uh, debilitator, freeze resistance, uh, she does have 20% um, uh, berserker. So, you know, that that's really the main thing that she does have. She doesn't have flurry. I mean, she doesn't have a uh, havoc. Um, but I and I feel spite spite was pretty upset that she didn't get havoc. Um, but she I mean, come on now. She, she still has the best the best kit in the game. I mean, literally the only thing that she could have done was have havoc. So her first strong attack is the current best strong attack in the game. Um, and look at that, look at that. Just like I told you guys, her second does have back range. So she has an 800 radius second strong attack, um, same as Adult Toshiro, Don Guy, um, Hikone, I mean Mugetsu, Hikone, Bankai Yamamoto. She got the same strong attack, the same first strong attack as Power Eisen, Heart Toshiro, uh, Bankai Yamamoto. So that shot forward, um, that and that extends um, 2,500 radius forward. So um, that thing extends very far. This is a really, really weird map. Um, this is the the high difficult, highest difficulty um, uh, Hollow Killer quest that uh, that I could have done as far as raid. Um, the map is really weird though. So like, if you have a bad kit, this something like this would take you forever. Um, you guys see that Rookie has that great back and side range, but we're gonna go ahead and drop the sub on here. So I'll say Absolutely great soul bomb. Um, it just depicts her character perfect and then I just wanted to do that to show you guys that yes yeah, She does have perfect melee collision um, Back range and side range on her uh, second strong attack um, Exactly the same as uh, adult Toge, Kokuto, Mugetsu, Maka Yamamoto, exactly the same as all of those guys all right, so we're gonna go ahead and get into the second build. Um, same stuff, but we're just gonna go ahead and throw on a Senkaizen link. Um, so two um, uh, Sar and uh, Sad links, and then one Senkaizen uh, link. So we actually have six links on us uh, with this particular build, but that's what you wanna do. You always wanna maximize your link slots, um, and the Senkaizen is the best uh, damage for overall output. So you can see there that the first strong attack affected multiple waves. Um, go ahead and just drop the first strong attack there. We'll save the third for this next room. Bam, drop that. This, okay, this, this room is weird. We'll go ahead, bam, look at that. Look at that, y'all. Look at that, look at that second strong attack. That's absolutely perfect. I mean, dude, absolutely perfect second strong attack. Like I said, the only way she could have been any better was to have Havoc, and she don't have it, but that's cool. Like, you know, she, she does have that 14 recharge. So, um, you know, I really have a lot of really good tech characters. Now, my poor bring Ichigo, uh, he, he's only two of five, um, and my Kisuke is one of five, but it's like, She's definitely better than both of them. I mean, there's literally no question.
Awesome. Okay. So we were able to one shot the boss right there um, with the, you know, with the Senkaizen link. That's pretty much what you'd expect. So that's what I mean when I say that it's the best link in the game. Um, 52 seconds. So it looks like uh, that's our strongest clear time right now. All right. So we are with the last build for the day. Um, same accessories, but triple Senkaizen. You know, uh, these days. You know, I, there's um, there's not a whole lot of need for attention tie, and um, in regular quest, you know, um, uh, if you're doing co-op, by all means, you, you need attention tie. So, like I said, with Yuki's and Puppets being phased out, it's like there's really no need to switch up the accessories if these are the best accessories by far. So, um, it's pretty much pretty much is what it is. I'm gonna go ahead with the last build here and see if we can get uh, any faster time. Like I said though, this this map is really weird. Like, it's, uh, it's it's most definitely very weird. Like as far as the mob spawning, it's just super weird. Um, do, 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 drop that first strong attack, just wait a little second there. And then we're gonna go ahead and use a gnat on these dudes cause like, bam, drop the second, first, and then we up out of here. So as you can see, man, her sec her first strong attack extends a very long distance. Um, like I said, um, 2,500 radius forward. So, you know, the more str the more strong attack damage she has, the better you're going to be able to take advantage of her strong attack. And that that's just essentially how it goes, you know. So having that kind of range and hit uh, detection is really the best thing in the game. Definitely the best tech hollow killer in the game by far. My Sode no Shirayuki. Sugi no Mai. Hakuro. And now when I do my um, my top uh, my top ten tech characters, she's definitely gonna be in the top four units. So it's gonna be kinda hard placing some of the other characters, but she does have a better kit than mostly any unit in the game um, that doesn't have havoc. So there's really not many ways to get a better kit than this Rukia. So Caleb does a very horrible <laughs> job showcasing the characters. Like you, you know, they really don't, you know, they really don't display the character so that you can see their full potential. But um, this is a beautifully made character, most definitely for sure. Definitely what you'd expect for uh, a character this day and age. You know, she definitely she's gonna stand up for the test of time, especially with having that berserker as well. Um, yeah, most definitely the best tech hollow killer in the game, uh, without a doubt, man. Uh, make sure you guys weigh in. Let me know how your summons went, and don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Pop I do love y'all. I'm out. Smoke.